All right, Wolf Pack. Happy Thursday night. Got a long one for you guys tomorrow. I got I can't even fit it all the way on my screen, so try to keep it short. Um, just go over the main points, kind of what we're looking for here. You guys get a good workout. Um, so warm up, two to three sets, just some movement prep. Um, spider walk, world's greatest walk. You guys know this. Samson walk, just another name for uh, like a walking lunge, but the one when we sit with our knee on the ground for a second, reach up to the sky, push the hip flexor forward. Okay, just get a little bit of that uh, that quad hip flexor opened up. Next one, so two push-ups and then four grasshoppers. So essentially, I don't know if that's what they're called, but uh, or maybe it's a mountain climber where you're actually bringing your feet up into that like spider walk position, but you're shuffling back and forth for four. Okay, so two push-ups, four grasshoppers uh, is one. Do four to five of those. And then the next is just a barbell warm-up. Uh, very basic movement for the snatch that's coming in C. And we've done these in classes a whole bunch. So use the snatch grip the entire time, so nice and wide grip. Um, five deadlifts or five RDL, something slow to warm up the backside. Uh, muscle snatch, do this from the hip where you dip drive. Good fast, uh, high elbow, good fast extension and push through. Uh, barbell on the back, five good mornings, five behind the neck push press with the snatch grip. And then five Kang squats. So remember Kang squat is good morning down, back squat, good morning back up and all the way up. Okay, feel free to add anything you need to this warm up. Uh, make sure the barbell is done with the uh, snatch grip. Okay. Um, strength work today, so you got two kind of options. If you want it to be a little bit more strength oriented, you're going to want to load this barbell up um, for the floor press and the pendulum row a little bit heavier, um, limiting the reps. However, if you're looking for more of a hypertrophy, a little bit more muscle swelling, if I may, a um, little more bodybuilding type, then go a little lighter with the weight and uh, get a lot higher rep count. So 12 to 15 plus is going to uh, pretty pretty big hypertrophy round or a realm, um, five, six, eight, you know, you're in the, in the strength phases, okay? So um, choose your weight appropriately for what you're kind of trying to look to get out of here today. Um, so it's just uh, AMRAP, as many as you can, uh, floor press with the bar, 30-second um, rest, as many push-ups as you can, and then rest as long as you need, so make sure you come to somewhat of a recovery. You're not just, like, AMRAPing through all four of these and not getting any rest, and it's going to uh, affect your actual uh, ability to get a bunch of reps. So rest as much as you need in between that. And the same thing with the pendulum rows. So we did this the other day. It's basically just a bent-over row where the barbell goes back down to the ground, and you're in that uh, kind of like setup position for a deadlift or for a clean. Okay, so clean grip on the barbell, and then 30-second rest, and you're going to AMRAP a, a kettlebell or a dumbbell swing. Okay, and rest as long as you need there. And then repeat again. So uh, floor press, 30, push-ups, rest as long as you need. And then pendulum row, 30 seconds, swings, rest as long as you need. And that's one. And do three to four sets of that. I don't know if this is going to be a lot. Um, if you're super fatigued after two, maybe cut it to three. Um, kind of depends on what you're, what you're going for here. If you're doing lots of reps, you might get pretty blown up. So kind of just take it by feel if, if you want to do uh, two to three sets, if that fits you better. Okay. And then the Metcon is a little confusing, but it makes sense once you get into it. So it's four sets, and each round is four minutes. And then you get a two-minute rest. So similar to the Chief, you're going to just pick up where you left off and keep going. But um, the the two-minute rest here is really to make sure that we're working at a faster rate than normal. So you're pushing yourself a little bit more than you normally would because you're going to get this two-minute rest. Okay, So uh, this combination with the lunges and the burpees and the snatches is going to be real dynamic. And it's really going to affect the heart rate a lot. So um, take that into account when you're pacing. But we do want to get outside of our comfort zone uh, move quickly through these so we can utilize this two minute rest. Okay, so we don't want to just like coast through this for four minutes, not be that tired, two minute rest, coast. We want to actually push the pace in this four minute AMRAP uh, and make sure we're actually working for that rest. So um, try to get as close as you can to that red line, right? We don't want to go over the red line because you still got to recover in two minutes. But if this was a what, four times four is 16. I got good math skills tonight. If this was a 16 minute AMRAP, you would be going through this uh, at a far slower pace, far more controlled. But now that we get this rest period, it's broken up, you can actually push a little more intensity. So that's the goal of this, okay? Um, obviously, we're using uh, a barbell in the front rack if we can. If we have weights, uh, the weight should be 10 unbroken lunges every time, regardless. So um, probably. 65.95 is pretty appropriate if you have those weights. Obviously, scale up or down as needed, but uh, you should be able to do all 10 in a row. So there's only five on each leg. Um, so load the barbell up, but it should be pretty pretty easy there. Um, power snatch should be the same weight. So once again, should be pretty cyclable weight. 
um, for people. Uh, so same weight on the barbell. So if you gotta go a little lighter for the snatch, just means you get to go faster on the lunges. Okay, um, that's it. If you have any questions, need any scaling options, uh, comment below or just go ahead and shoot me a text. Hope you guys have a good workout and I look forward to seeing what CrossFit gives us tomorrow for the second workout and we can do that on Saturday. Okay, have a good night guys. Peace.